ABC chief legal correspondent Ari in Melbourne, where again we are waiting on a decision from a judge. Ari, what can you, the decision has just come down. I we have some it. breaking news, Craig. A judge has ruled that Bill Cosby will face charges in the criminal sexual assault allegations against him. We've been following this preliminary hearing all morning. This clears the way to the first criminal trial of Bill Cosby for sex crimes, uh, to wit, aggravated indecent assault in the state of Pennsylvania. There were basically three offenses up there. All three move forward. That means all charges will be pushed and pushed forward against Bill Cosby. He will have to defend himself in trial. As we've reported, this is the first time this has ever happened. What happens next? Well, with this judge's ruling, they move forward to a formal arraignment process. That's July 20th. According to NBC's Tom Winter, who's been tracking all the proceedings for us in that preliminary court hearing today, his lawyers will learn based on what they saw today and what preparations move forward in the trial, how they want to make the case. I can also tell you uh, from moments ago, the end of the proceedings there, we heard a very aggressive case uh, made by Bill Cosby's counsel, uh, a case they obviously lost at this round, arguing that the uh, accuser was not reliable, that this was all consensual sexual contact. The judge saying no, there is a prima facie case, that is there is enough evidence to proceed, there will be a criminal trial uh, for Bill Cosby on these uh, allegations of sex crimes. I should mention his lawyers have maintained his innocence in this, as with many other cases that have involved these types of accusations, Greg. All right, based on what we heard and saw in court today, how much of a surprise uh, was this to you, the judge's decision? This decision is not a surprise because the paper record up to this point involved serious, precise, and specific allegations of misconduct and included... Uh, statements by Mr. Cosby that prosecutors argued closed the circle on what ac uh, accusations had been leveled explicitly, as we've reported many times, uh, the bombshell in another civil case where he admitted to obtaining drugs, quaaludes, uh, for the purposes of sex. I will also say moments ago that prosecutors in their closing argument in this preliminary hearing, which is not to do with guilt or innocence, but just whether to go forward, but they said in their closing, and I, I can read from it, that basically you heard Bill Cosby give, quote, the odd answer he gave when asked about penetration in this case, that he, quote, never did it asleep or awake. The prosecutor then said, Craig, doesn't that insinuate the person was out, asking the judge, basically, look at Cosby's own statements to decide whether to move forward. But I have to tell you, uh, given the fact that there have been over 40 different accusations for yeah. women about misconduct, it is certainly, expected or not, a big development to see a judge moments ago clear the path forward for a trial of hey there i'm chris hey <laughs> thank you for logging on to another episode of gospel talk tv i'm your host mr michael wakalimi this is season two and if you're new to this channel please tap that subscribe button show your support as i bring you more breaking news stories to computer screen near you and you can check this victory story this victory story from msnbc over at gospel talk tv on twitter and i want everybody to get the finest bottle of champagne and pop the top we got a victory going on here. We got one pedophile molestation raper off the streets. He has been charged. The Bill Cosby has been charged. That's good. What a wonderful... Well, you know, all praises. All praises to the Most High God of Higher. Because we got one satanic scumbag off the street. Now we got a whole couple of thousand more to go. Now, we need to get all these scumbags off the street. Just like Bill Cosby. Because, see, Bill Cosby thought that what he did in the dark will not come to the light. But, you know, what you do in the dark will come to the light. It doesn't matter if it takes 10 years. It doesn't matter if it takes 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years. But it will come to the light. And when it comes to the light, you going to have to face the light. And when you face the light, you're going to be in pure humility. And you're going to be in pure, dire circumstances. Just like Bill Cosby. All the money in the world can't get them out of this. All the sacrifices in the world can't get you out of this. See what the devil got you into? When you're in that Illuminati puppetry, damn, this is what happens. You have to go through these rituals. 
And it's no if ands, or buts about it. You have to go through these rituals. So, web, and every year you got to do these rituals. You got to do these sex rituals, just like African band body. You got to do these sex rituals. And as you do these sex rituals, it adds up, it adds up, it adds up. And then when you're old as dirt, and the Illuminati can't don't want you no more, and they can't use you no more, they air out your dirty laundry. And all your dirty laundry is aired out, Mr. Bill Cosby. I won't be too surprised if you did the same thing that you did to these adult women to Raven Simone. Because, you know, Raven Simone was a little child on the Cosby show. I won't be too surprised if you drugged little Raven Simone and gave her some uh, toxic drink to drink. Because look at her now. Her mind is all messed up. I think you gave us something. You gave us something, didn't you? Didn't you, Bill Cosby? Did you, Bill Cosby? This goes this goes down in history that everybody needs to take this and learn from this. That all those people who go out and try to drug women, to try to have sex with them and all this stuff, just check out. What you do in the dark will come to the light. Bill Cosby. You better, you better not be making no toxic drinks in the chain gang. Because if you make toxic drinks in the chain gang, you just might get penetrated. Bill Cosby. Billy, 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 Billy. Hooray! Bill Cosby is going to jail. I'm your host. Mr. Michael Locke Lemmy, this is season two. If you're new to this channel, please tap that subscribe button to show your support. As I bring you more breaking news stories to a computer screen near you. You can also check out this complete MSNBC news story over at Twitter, at Gospel Talk TV on Twitter. And uh, don't forget, uh, tonight uh, we're going live on Facebook. We're going live on Facebook, a live um, a Bible reading, Bible teaching on the truth. We might talk about this Bill Cosby thing. Um, but the floor is open for your comments. So if you want to uh, check Gospel Talk TV, me, Michael Wacolini, out live, just go to Michael Wacolini, M-I-C-H-A-E-L-W-A-K-L-I-M-I, on Facebook, hit that follow button, and stay tuned, and you will be alerted when we go live tonight. Live. I'm out.